Hi YouTube, this is Patrick, and uh, I'm sorry I haven't been around for the last week. It's been crazy with uh, Christmas and everything and work and stuff. But I figured I should do another Blu-ray entry, seeing as I got a couple of Blu-rays for Christmas. Um, so yeah, so I got about, what did I get here? I got one, two, three, four, five, I got like six. Six for Christmas, which was really cool. Um, my family It's difficult for my family to surprise me, because I kind of tell them what movies I want, and then they get them for me. But uh, still, it's always nice to get them. Um, but uh, yeah, so anyway, I got uh, 12 Angry Men, which is the the Criterion douchebag collection, as always. Um, no, it's great. I actually watched it last night. Um, it's one of those movies that, while some things are still a little, you know, outdated now, at least some of the, um, uh, the way the actors, like, interact, or the way the camera, co or whatever, just, um, but, uh, movie is still, still fantastic, uh, and actually has a lot of, you know, I believe it's based on a play, and the movie has a lot of really, like, long takes where it feels like you're watching a play, um, so despite, you know, some of the cheesiness of some, of certain, like, scenes, there's, like, real, um, there's a real sense of, like, wow, that's still impressive, I'm still impressive, like, technically, and just the actors, you know, to be able to hit their marks, know their lines, all this stuff is really good. Uh, I love it. I've, I've always loved the movie. Um, it's one of those where you, th you, you maybe watch the beginning, and I figure, oh, I'll just see what it looks like, you know, how good it looks, and, you know, it's only an hour and a half, and before you know it, you get kind of mixed up in it, and, uh, it's a great movie, absolutely great movie. Uh, so I'm really happy with that. I got, um, I believe Amazon has it on sale this week up to the 31st for, like, half off. It's, like, only, like, 20 bucks as opposed to Criterion. The Criterion Douchebag Collection is normally, uh, 40. Uh, I say douchebag because Criterion is, I mean, it just looks like, you know, the, the big pretentious film snob collection. Uh, as I said, I have, like, six of them, so. Part of that group. Uh, I also got, I was really happy about this, I got Citizen Kane, uh, nice big old box set of it, um, I think it's a great movie as far as the best movie of all time, personally it's not my favorite, but I can understand why people say it's the best, um, it's just, there's like an invention in almost every single scene, technically, and it's a great story, um, watching it on Blu-ray, the opening scenes were a little kind of off, which concerned me, but once it got to later on, especially with the the use of light and darkness and, and the just shadows, it's really, really great. Um, it comes with Roger Ebert's commentary, which I didn't watch. That's on the DVD. I haven't gotten around to watching that. I hear that's great. Uh, also comes with the RKO... Um, is it 121? What? I forget the name of it. The HBO movie with James Cromwell and John Malkovich and Liev Schreiber. Um fantastic. I mean, that kind of belongs in your collection if you're a film collector. Citizen Kane, you really you, you should get it. Both of these movies do. Citizen Kane and um, and 12 Angry Men. Alright, next a little off track, but is uh, Deathly Hallows Part 2. Um, uh, yeah, my favorite one of the series um, together with Part 1. Um, I have the whole 8 movie collection. I didn't get the eight pack set I got the seven pack set when, when it was on sale for at Amazon for like fifty bucks and obviously I got this for Christmas so I didn't spend anything on it so while the whole set would no, mostly cost at least even on Amazon like ninety dollars I got everything for fifty uh, which is a hell of a deal I think it's a good series it'll ha it has rewatchability um, on rewatches they didn't exactly stick the, the last movie should have been a little more emotional than it was um, but still, it really is a landmark that the fact that they got all eight made. Um, Rob and I did a fuzzy motion review of the Harry Potter series, which you guys should check out. It's, uh, you know, we had a lot of fun with it. Um, so yeah, so Harry Potter. Following Citizen Kane. Alright, also, a release from this year. I got Super 8. I love this movie. I rewatched it last night before I rewatched, um, before I watched 12 Angry Men. Um... And I was happy that it lived up to its billing of one of my like favorites this year. Um, it uh, it's just something that makes you laugh, can you know choke you up, make you jump, all these things all in once. Feels like a real you know. Feels like a movie that Spielberg would have made in the seventies. Um, but uh, yeah, really good movie, really really good movie, one of my favorites this year. 
Um, one of my say one of my favorites because my favorite this year was Warrior. Um, I haven't seen everything yet this year. Uh, I'll get around to making a list of 2011 when I see everything I wanted to see from 2011. Um, so that might not come until like March of next year, but what can you do? Um, yeah, so Warrior, this is a movie that it was criminally like underseen. Uh, I, it, it's so good. It um, is something you look at. It looks like it's gonna be the most cliched thing possible, and all in the opening scene of the movie with Tom Hardy and Nick Nolte kind of just changes all of that completely. Um, if you're not like sitting there watching that scene at the beginning of the movie and thinking like, "Ooh, this is a little different than I thought," um, you know, that's exactly what this is. This movie. I mean, yeah, you need to you know believe in some coincidences, but who cares? It's a movie. Uh, it's a sports movie, and that's okay. It's um, it's really, really like powerful stuff. Um, and like I said, it's I, I think it's going to be one of those movies that, like the Shawshank Redemption that really finds an audience, really, really finds an audience. Uh, I love that. I, I, I couldn't I could not recommend that to not, enough to anyone, anyone, uh, man, woman, anybody, anyone. Seriously. Last one I got was West Side Story. I love West Side Story. I've loved it since I was a kid. I didn't love every song, but I loved most of them. Blu-ray looks gorgeous. Um, it's still fine. Look, it's it's. Don't tell me it's not a good story. It's Romeo and Juliet, all right. Set to music, written by Stephen Sondheim. This is good shit. Shut up. It's a great movie. Um, yes, that's what I got for Christmas. I'll do, I guess, some more of these. Hopefully, now that I don't have to do Dexter stuff. Um, as far as going to see the movies I haven't gone lately, I'll try to get after New Year's maybe get see, go to see some stuff. Uh, I did catch out. I did catch the new Sherlock Holmes. And I thought it was okay. Similarly, like the first one. I liked the first one. I liked this one. It had a better villain, um, but there were still some problems with it. Um, I'd probably give it like a B minus. You know, pass the time. B minus. Uh, I'll just throw that in at the end there. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got. Okay. Let me know what you guys thought of this, or maybe what you got for Christmas as far as movies go, or just whatever the hell. I'm going to do a football video this Sunday before the Giants beat the Cowboys, hopefully. Um, and if, if we got a playoff thing, I might do a playoff video, especially if the Giants do get in. Uh, every single week, so yeah. Later, guys.